Welcome back. Uh, continuing with my puzzle solving. My goal today is to crack 1900. It remains to be seen if I can actually do that. Hmm. You know, if I had some piece guarding this square, that would be checkmate, wouldn't it? However, if I put a king there to guard that square, well, no, I was going to say they could, uh, white could just check me here, but they can't because my rook guards this entire file. I think if I move my king here, uh, they, uh, then white would have to check me there, which I could block with the pawn. Now, the other option is to move my pawn here to guard that square. And then white can't check me at all, can they? Yes, yes they can, right here. But if I move the king there, this isn't a check. Well, that's disappointing. Let's see what the answer was. It was to go ahead and check first because that's checkmate. Oh my goodness, because the bishop guards this and the king guards this. All right, I should have seen that. And now we're below where we started, so um, probably, probably not gonna get very far on this one. Ah, this looks bad. I have several pieces under attack. I mean, they're guarded, but they're under attack. Two pieces, I see. This piece is actually under attack without being guarded. Same with this pawn, which is twice being attacked. Um, I do not, I, I was going to say I do not have any checks, but I do have a check here and here. This one is actually a protected check guarded by the knight, and it's a rook fork. It would force the king to either here or here. I don't really have a good follow-up other than to capture the rook. I don't know. Because this is also protected by the knight. But in that case, the king could just get in front of it, and then the pawn is stuck there, right? My pawn is just stuck. But wait, no, if the king goes there, then I can say check here. And is that checkmate? Watch, check. The king goes here. That's checkmate because the pawn guards that the bishop well then the bishop doesn't have to guard that because the knight's in the way and then, what if the king doesn't go there what if the king goes here after i capture then is that checkmate i think it is let's try that all right We're four points below where we started looks like i just Lost my queen. I can recapture. I can. Then I will lose my knight. If I'm understanding all this correctly. You know what? I wonder. No, I was going to say, what about this? But I... That pawn just captures it, right? You know what? Then I capture with check. Then they capture. Then I take the queen. And they don't have any way to stop the promotion. Because currently, if I take the queen first, 
the rook currently guards the promotion square. It wouldn't have to go anywhere. It could just stay there guarding the promotion square. I would lose my knight. I guess I could recapture, but the rook could just stay there guarding the promotion square and the king would get it. That's why, that's why I'm saying I think the check has to be first because that opens up this file for the rook because the check is a forcing move, right? Yeah, because they, they have to capture with this pawn. The king cannot escape here because the knight will guard that square. If the king escapes here, then this is checkmate. So black would be forced to recapture with the pawn. I will capture with check here. Now that would not force the king to recapture. It could go into this empty spot left over by the pawn, but then I would take the queen and there's nothing to stop promotion. All right. I, well, good. It took me six minutes, but I'm one point higher than where I started. So let's see if uh, we can go any further. I have a, let's see, I'm not in check, right? A really nice check here that is guarded by this knight, forcing the king there. If I follow the bishop blocks, But then I have a check here. This is getting really complicated. See this? You have to imagine all these pieces in different places. The queen moves here, forcing the king to the side. I move my queen to the corner, h1. The only legal move at that point is here, moving the bishop to block. I do have a follow-up check with this knight but I think the king easily escapes from that. I think it would be best to leave the knight there because this follow-up check forces the queen to block because the bishop would be pinned down there. Then I capture the queen protected by the knight. Oh, the queen went up there. I honestly didn't see that coming. I can just take it with the rook now, right? And that's check. And they did not recapture, I guess, because that would have let the queen out. But now I can recapture here, correct? Check and protecting the rook. It's not quite mate yet, but it's close. Hoo-wee. And now we're at eight and a half minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, that's protected. I do have a check here, which hits the unguarded pawn as well. However, the rook could block guarded by the knight. So I don't know if that's if that is the best move. Because it's so easily thwarted, right? Rook just blocks. Hmm. Rooks, these two rooks guard each other, so I'm not too worried about this queen. Let's see. Is there a sacrifice involved here? Like check. And then this. Because then how do they get out of that? That leaves only two escape squares and I and then I just follow it. That might be it. Fingers crossed. Okay. Then this has to be it. 
okay, that's not checkmate because the king gets out. And I can't keep the king from getting out because that square is guarded by the knight. But what if I just did it? The king gets out. Wait. I was going to say and then bring this rook over, but right now I have a rook. Shouldn't I just take it and say check? Then the king gets out. And if it wants me to, I have a follow-up check. Okay. I'm certain it's not that because their queen, white's queen guards that square. It could be this. That would be the most reasonable move given the circumstances. Leave my queen hanging for just a second. Okay. Now I can do this. Because again, this is not good because the white queen guards that square. So it's got to be this. Oh, holy. Okay, we're past 11 minutes. I'm stopping. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, if you have holidays this week because you're in the United States or someplace else that has holidays this week, I hope you enjoy them. See you next time.